property. As a homeowner, the most important thing to look for is a target marketing specialist. And I want you to write that down, by the way, a target marketing specialist. This is how you get your home exposed to the most opportune buyers, and most importantly, sell that property for more than you ever thought possible. A licensed agent that simply promises you a higher price, but has no empirical data to show you how they'll make that happen, they're not gonna get you your desired results. They need to have an impressive multimedia marketing approach. And I'm gonna show you that here. So target marketing, a lot of people say, what is target marketing? Target marketing is focusing in on who the most likely buyer will be for your home based on price range, location, school district, uh, amenities of the home, that type of thing. So if we take an example, let's say it's a middle of the road price range here for this area. Uh, it's a four bedroom house has a first floor primary bedroom, but all the other bedrooms are upstairs. Uh, it's in a good school district and it has a fenced yard, okay? Typical America property, okay? Four bedroom, first floor primary, everything else is upstairs, good school district and has a fenced yard. Who is the most likely buyer? Who should we be targeting for that home? Well, we know for sure that it's gonna be somebody that's anywhere from 40 to 55 years old, that has at least two kids of teenage years in the home. They'll have a pet in the home. They're likely in that same school district. They'll have a credit score of 680 or higher, and they're gonna have an annual household income, total household income of at least one third of the purchase price on your home. Now, how do we know that's the case? Because we can go find that list. We can market to that group of people. Well, we know that's the case because anybody that's younger than 40 years old may still be looking to have young children, meaning they won't want their bedroom on a different level as the rest of the bedrooms. They wanna be close to the nursery, right? We know that they're going to have kids of teenage years. They wanna be away from the kids when it comes to sleeping and quiet and that type of thing, right? We know they have to have a credit score of 680 or higher. We know that for qualification purposes, they'll need to make about a third of what the purchase price is. And then we also know that if you have that fenced yard, they'll be willing to pay a premium if they can get their dog in a property that has a fenced yard. So much better for them that way. So what we can do is we can take that information. A professional marketer is going to find out who that opportune buyer is and then create a combination of online and offline marketing. So our team here, we do this by, we start by acquiring the list of the most opportune prospects. We do that through mailing list and marketing list brokers based on the selects that we want. So a select is like people with a credit score of 680 or higher, that's one select. People that make $150,000 or more, that's another one. People that have at least two children of teenage years, that's another one we would use. So we'll get them and, and we can narrow that down, clear down to family size, age of the parents, age of the children in the home, household income, uh, their credit score, their hobbies, their interests, uh, how many vehicles they have in the home. Like if you have a three car, four car garage, how many vehicles are registered to them? Uh, watercraft ownership, like if you're on water and maybe they have a boat, that type of thing. We can really narrow this down to find the most opportune prospect for your individual house. And then what we do is we utilize an online and offline approach. So of course you know that the type of property your most likely buyer currently lives in, like where are they moving from? Are they moving from an apartment to a house like yours? Are they moving from a small house up to a house like yours? Are they moving from a larger house and moving down? Maybe it's empty nesters, probably, uh, possibly even a divorce situation where they would be downsizing in a home. We wanna find out what's going to be the most opportune prospect so we can market directly to them. And then what we do is we can use these acquired contacts for everything from postcard campaigns, to specific sales letter offers mailed to the prospects, all the way to specifically targeting those prospects on their Facebook page. So we do a lot of online marketing where we can get that list of everybody that lives in a neighborhood, say a move up neighborhood, where they would be moving up to your price range. We can market to all of them on their individual Facebook page through a targeted marketing approach.
So we can do that like as an example, Facebook custom audience. Uh, so this is a marketing approach that's used on Facebook. It's not social by any means. It's a real marketing approach where we can utilize all of our data to get specific ads for your house in front of those most opportune buyers directly on their Facebook page, which is currently selling thousands of homes all over the country, by the way. This targeted approach with Facebook custom audience is selling lots and lots of homes, and it only goes out to those that are most likely to be interested, meaning it's truly targeted marketing, not social marketing. So we invest a great deal of marketing dollars into custom audience, which is a Facebook approach that we can utilize. So whether it be uh, postcard campaigns or mailing campaigns or going to the online versions, we cover all of those bases so we can get the maximum number of buyers interested in the home, thus driving up the price, creating that feeding frenzy that we're always looking for where you win because people are fighting over your property and they're willing to pay a premium. And those targeted lists are readily available. As an example, if you've ever been at your house and you go check the mail and here's a postcard from the local car dealership and it says, uh, we see that you have a 2019 Mazda and we have a shortage of Mazdas right now. We'd, we'd give you a premium price if you'll trade in your car here. Well, I'm sure you know that the guy that lives next door to you that drives a Toyota got the same postcard saying they need a Toyota. They acquired a list of which cars are located at each property and they have a variable data print that goes out and puts that information in. That's a targeted marketing approach. So you speak directly to those people about something that's important to them. So we do a lot of targeted marketing that way to match up who's the best buyer for your property. Uh, again, going back to the online version, Facebook custom audience is a perfect example of us getting to them where they're at every day, where they're camping out every day. That was just a short clip taken from our longer video that explains what we do when we list a home. Hopefully you can see how that targeted marketing approach could help bring more buyers into your house and drive the price up, making you more money. If you'd like to take a look at the longer video, click the link right up here in the corner. If you have questions, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to help. Thanks for watching.